One of the steps in your program is dropping gluten. A lot of people think this gluten-free is just the next fad and it'll go away. Why are we hearing so much about that and why is it more of a problem now than it was in the past or did we just not recognize it? What's the deal with gluten? Gluten sensitivity is more of a problem than it ever was in the past and it may be for the people listening, it may be your biggest problem. So what's happening with gluten that's increasing the gluten sensitivity is the amount of gluten in the food we eat is increasing all the time. Gluten is what makes bread products light and fluffy. And the food industry has been using more and more and more of that. The food, food technology is absolutely unbelievable and amazing. People don't realize how engineered, really, our foods are to make them attractive to us, to make them even addictive to us. And that's really what happens with gluten. Gluten is a protein in bread products, flour products, for people who don't know. Um, it, it's in bread, crackers, cookies, muffins, pasta. It's in so many foods we eat, it's prac practically everywhere, right? And, and it's used in so many more places. It's, it hides in places too. It hides in places like ketchup or places like sausages. I mean, who would think these foods have gluten, but they do, they have hidden gluten. So that's my point, they're using gluten everywhere. And what happens is the more frequently our bodies are exposed to a particular protein, the more likely our system can become sensitized to it. And when it becomes sensitized, it's an interesting thing that happens. It's almost like when you have an addiction, what happens is you start to crave the food. You start to crave the food more and more, but the food isn't good for you. It's not doing you any favors. It's kind of like when people become, you know, alcoholics or drug addicts, you know, nicotine. They, they want that thing even though it's not good for them. And that's what gluten sets up in our bodies. But what's really dangerous and bad about that is it causes inflammation in the gastrointestinal tract. And what that inflammation can lead to is what they call leaky gut. Basically, the cells of our gut should be tight together so that invaders, so to speak, from the outside can't get in because that's our, our gut lining is our line of defense. All the things that are coming in through our mouth are foreign, possibly invaders. And our gut lining has this tight line that's not supposed to let anything penetrate through. But the problem is when you get inflammation due to eating foods that we might be sensitive to, like gluten, for example, the, the, the lining can become a little bit leaky. You know, the, this, the, the, the strong line of, you know, men who are there to guard the, guard the castle, you know, suddenly, you know, little, little holes start to open up that you can sneak in. And that's what happens. Things that aren't supposed to ever go into our bloodstream have direct access right to the bloodstream. And that causes our immune system to go crazy. Our immune system is sitting right there in that gut lining because of course, you know, if you had a border that you were defending, that's where you want the army. So that's where your immune system is, in your gut. And your gut starts to produce all kinds of immune cells reacting to all these different invaders that are coming in that aren't supposed to be coming in. And that's one of the big triggers for what we're seeing now, such an uptick in autoimmune disease. Things like Hashimoto's thyroiditis, autoimmune thyroid disease, uh, and other, other diseases like um, lupus and psoriasis and rheumatoid arthritis. We're just seeing so many more of these diseases being diagnosed every day. And a lot of this is more than likely due to gluten sensitivity.